Hi everybody, it's Hannah over at Heil Truck Lines. Today, Chris Jostin, our Esterville, Iowa Terminal Manager, is going to be talking about adaptive and predictive cruise control systems. As always, if you are not already subscribed, be sure to click the big red button below and like this video. Hi guys, today we're going to talk about our collision mitigation systems in the trucks. All of our trucks have collision mitigation system. In our Kenworths here, we have the Bendix Wingman Fusion System. These things have both adaptive and predictive cruise control. Now they work on a system where we have a radar right here, and we have a camera in the center of our windshield up there. Now those two things have to work together to determine if the threat ahead of us is enough for that to mitigate or stop the threat to slow us down or increase the distance. Now with this Wingman Fusion system, it's got both adaptive and predictive cruise control. Now adaptive cruise control means that it adapts to the traffic ahead of you. So say I have my cruise control set at 65 miles an hour, I come upon a vehicle that is running 55. What this would do is this would slow me down to 55 miles an hour to match their speed and keep me at a safe following distance anywhere from 2.4 seconds to 3.8 seconds behind the vehicle ahead of me. Now, if I were to turn my blinker on and change lanes, this thing would automatically bump back up to my preset speed of 65 miles an hour. Now, predictive cruise control is a little bit different. What predictive cruise control does, it's got software in the system and it uses GPS and things like that to read the terrain ahead of you and it adjusts your following distance, it adjusts your uh, speed and everything as you're going. So if I'm going over a rolling hill, I may get towards the top of the hill and it may kick out. It may kick into like a neutral or a coast mode because it knows I have enough power to get up and over the hill. And as I'm coming down the far side of the hill, it's gonna reach my preset speed. So that in a nutshell is our predictive and adaptive cruise control. The thing about this collision mitigation system as well is it's got some sensors in there that keep us at 2.8 or 2.4 to 3.8 seconds and it alerts us if we get too close to somebody. Now these things also tell us what the speed limit signs are reading as we're passing them. So if I'm in a 55 mile an hour speed limit zone, it's going to tell me that on my dashboard that I'm in a 55 mile an hour zone. It shows in a nice little speed limit sign on my dashboard. Now, if I get two seconds behind somebody, this thing's going to flash on my dash, saying that I'm close, and it's also gonna tell me, it's gonna beep at me to alert me that, hey, you're getting a little too close. And then it does the same thing when I get to one second following distance and a half second following distance. Now, these systems don't generally take over unless you fail to make a move. So you're getting too close to someone, the vehicle ahead of you is coming to a fast stop and you don't take control of the vehicle, then the adaptive crew or the collision mitigation system would probably hit the brakes for you. It may downshift, may engage your engine brakes, something to try to mitigate, not avoid, but mitigate the collision. Remember guys, this does not replace a safe, efficient driver. This is just something to help your day to make you a little safer out on the road and to help you see things that you may not catch on a day-to-day -day basis. You may look in your mirror and the vehicle ahead of you locks up the brakes. This can alert you to that. Now these systems also have a lane departure warning. So if you get six inches over the fog line on the side of the road or six inches over the zipper, the dotted line in the center of the road, this is going to alert you that you have crossed over that line without your turn signals on helps you stay centered in your lane. All our 2020 and newer trucks have this system in them. Now our Freightliners is a little bit different, but it's the same principle. Remember guys, this system does not replace you behind the wheel. You are a safe driver. You're the one that's in control of this vehicle. That system is just there to help you along in your day. Be safe guys.